aiming, one of the most crucial elements in Overwatch. If you can't aim, you're probably going to have a bad time. So, you want to be the very best. The best there ever was. Is catching them your real test and training your cause? Well, this won't help you much with that, but if you're wanting to aim better on Overwatch it will. The first thing we need to look at is your sensitivity. Some people prefer it high and some low, but I would strongly suggest having it low. Having your sensitivity lower and moving with your whole arm instead of just the wrist can help your performance greatly. To change this in-game, you simply go to Options, then Control Options. You will see a drop-down menu labeled All Heroes. You can use this to set single character sensitivity, which I recommend doing. I'm going to go over each of my settings and give a brief explanation of why I have them set there to possibly give you an idea of why I suggest doing this. Here we are in the control page. Here's the drop down bar of all heroes and let's just briefly go over these. First up we have Ana. I have her set to 4 sensitivity because she does need to move around quite often and be accurate. So I keep her relatively low. Also when you scroll down a little bit further, I think I scrolled a little too far there. Right here, under hero, you can set her sensitivity while zoomed to whatever you want. I usually keep it at 30. Bastion. Bastion you gotta be accurate. You don't want to be flying all over the place or you're gonna be missing a lot of people. He doesn't have any additional settings down below, so I keep him at 3, keep him relatively low. Diva. She does have to move around quite a lot and you want to be able to turn fast. So I have her set at 5. Genji. I keep Genji set at 9. He has to turn around really fast. You gotta be able to move fast as Genji. I keep Hanzo at 6 because he needs to turn around really fast. He needs to be accurate and he also needs to be able to turn quickly. Junkrat I keep at 10. Junkrat is Junkrat. If you have his sensitivity to the point where you can move your mouse, you're gonna kill things. Lucio I have him at 5.5. He needs to be able to move around quite a bit and be fairly accurate. He's not intended to do a ton of damage, he just needs to be very mobile. McCree. We got McCree at 5. I could actually drop that down to about 4 or 3 because McCree is all about accuracy. He's all about landing the headshots. So almost the lower you are with the sensitivity, the better off you'll be. Now for Satan, I have her set to 6.66 because it made me laugh. She just, just freeze things. That's about it. Mercy. She needs to move around quite a bit from target to target so it's better off if you have her set relatively high. Farah, 5.5. You're kind of seeing a bit of a bit of a pattern here. I have them all low threes to fives usually. Farah, you'll want to be relatively accurate, even though you're aiming more for in front of your target than direct hits. But 5.5, I found is very useful for her. Reaper, I have him really high. He does have scatter shots and needs to turn around fast. Reinhardt, I just have Reinhardt at eight. Reinhardt's got to spend a lot of time with his shield up. He's got to spin around a lot, and if you're too slow. Are you doing full mouse swipes to spin around? They're going to be landing shots on you. Roadhog. I have Roadhog set at 5. 5 seems to be the best because Roadhog needs to be very accurate to land those hooks. You don't want it too high and you don't want it too low. Soldier 76. Have him set at 4. He is all about accuracy. Symmetra. I have her set at 6. She doesn't have to be super accurate. She's going to be dropping a lot of teleporters and her little turrets. Her regular left click attack doesn't need to be so accurate as it locks onto targets. And her right click attack just fires a long beam that you kind of just fire and hope that it actually hits something. Torbjorn. Now for Torbjorn, I have him really low. 3 is around the best I've found for him. Even though his turret doesn't require any aim whatsoever, Torbjorn himself, in close range combat, you're going to want to be very accurate with his shots. Tracer, have her at 5. She's fast. You gotta move fast. Widowmaker, I keep her at 3 and she also down below has, under her hero bar here, her relative aim sensitivity while zoomed. So when she's scoped in, you can set that. I usually keep it at 30 as well. Winston, I have Winston up high. You don't have to aim and be super accurate with Winston, but you do have to be able to spin around quickly. Zarya, 2.5. That laser beam, you gotta be accurate with her laser and you have to be accurate with where you're shooting your bubbles. I would definitely suggest keeping her in the lower level of sensitivity. And last but not least, we have Zenyatta. I keep him at 5.5. I could almost drop him down to four or even three, but I find having just a little bit of extra sensitivity to move quicker is very useful with him. I would suggest having your DPI set between 400 and 1800. Play around with it a bit to find out what suits you just right. But in all honesty, the in-game sensitivity settings should be all you'll have to change. Next, you will want to make sure that your mouse acceleration is turned off. 
you will be able to access this in your mouse settings. Since most people are using different windows and have different mice, this might be in a different location for most people. I will leave links in the description below to show you how to find it for your version of Windows. With all that said, I've seen other guides go into near painful levels of detail about other settings, adjustments, and hardware. As long as you aren't playing with a potato for a mouse and running a 10 year old PC, going into much more detail just overcomplicates everything. The most important thing you can do to improve your aim and overall gameplay is practice. Don't beat yourself up and don't expect to be as good as the top pro players right away. When I started Overwatch, I had next to no experience with first person shooters. And it showed for the first 30 to 40 hours, it was painful. I was lucky to get 20% weapon accuracy, and now that I'm sitting close to 130 hours, that has moved up to 50 to 70%. Not the best, but an improvement. Or you could just play as Winston and screw aiming altogether. And with that said, if you liked the video or found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, if I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. This has been Innerbane, and I will catch you next time.